this is quantum visions welcome back to my channel and in this video we're about to get on this brother talking about no one wears condoms anymore i'm pretty sure he's about to get into some type of stds or something like that hot girl summer and all of that let's see what's really going on if y'all want to see more videos like this hit the like and subscribe let's get it <laughs> When I um when I first jumped off the porch, the first thing my father said was, "You better wear a Jimmy hat." Everybody is just out here just raw dogging life. Is there is there a memo or something that I missed? Let's get into it. <laughs> wow. I went to um the doctor. I always go to the doctor. I think everybody should. And I always get a STD test, STI test. You know, no matter what. That's that's how I've always been. And I was trying to figure out if you don't know what an STD is, it's a sexually transmitted disease. And if you don't know what an STI is, it's a sexually transmitted infection. So he's saying he goes to the doctor quite frequently, uh, which possibly means that he's either he either has multiple partners. Uh, he's not really sure how many partners his partner may have. And that's kind of scary out here in these streets, especially um, with all of these different communities popping up and you never know who's doing what with who. And that is is it's quite hard out here to be a uh, heterosexual male, especially if you're not married, if these brothers are out here doing whatever they want to do then it's possible you may run across something you don't want to run across and i mean i get it you should get a, a test everybody should get a test um before any type of encounters however i'm pretty sure some people don't get those tests before some type of encounter but let's see what this brother is talking about i my doctor because they have like a panel that you can see the test you're getting why my doctor never ever tested me for uh like herpes right and granted i don't have i tested negative let me just say that first before y'all start hopping in the comments and and cooking me but i asked her i said why don't you test for herpes and she was like well you know i don't test for herpes because the majority of americans have it i'm like who not me and hold on What what they're saying is you have a dormant uh, simplex within you. Like, for instance, if you get cold sores and stuff like that, I think that's like simplex one or two, something like that. That's most likely what the doctor was referring to. But we're, when we're talking about herpes, we're talking about simplex three, the herp. The one you got to take certain medications for like acyclovir and valcyclovir and all of these different antiviral medications to uh, most likely either get rid of the medication due to some type of uh, flare up. I mean, get rid of the disease through some type of a flare up, which it's probably going to happen more often than not, especially if the patient forgets to take their medication. But I will not stand on the fact that everybody has herpes simplex three. Um, I don't have it. I'm I'm probably as clean as they go. But um, let's see what he said. The doctor said, and she pretty much just broke it down. Like you know, she stopped testing people for it because when people find out, they get all worried and they start texting her or calling her asking what they can do and really there's, there's nothing you can do because you can't get rid of it and that people can only spread it um if they have an outbreak right and you know i tested negative or whatever so that was pretty much the end of the conversation but the reason why i kind of like brought this full circle is because there's this guy that's considered the grandfather of the manosphere um and if you don't know what the manosphere is just a bunch of incels that can't get none but Oh. he put out this list of things that makes you a high value man and on the top of that list uh one of the things on that list was men should get a vasectomy at 21 so that they can't like have kids or uh you know create 
uh, families out of wedlock. Hold up. So you saying that this incel, this guy who can't get nothing from no woman, is going to tell every man who's a high value man to get a vasectomy at 21? At 21. Bro, you just now getting out of puberty at like 19. How are you even grown enough to be like, yeah, I'm about to get a vasectomy because I don't want to have no kids out of the way. Well, get married. How about that? Because I ain't never getting no vasectomy. I'll be 70 years old shooting them. Just saying. Let's keep going. And... The whole thing has me wondering is like based on what my doctor said about the majority of Americans having herpes and then this guy telling all of the incels to get vasectomies. Is anybody out here using condoms anymore? <laughs> like has that gone out of style? Am I am I really that old to the point where I missed that memo? I mean, I did have this one kid hit me up on Instagram and you know he called me OG. So maybe am I missing something? Um when I um when I first jumped off the porch the first thing my father said was, you better wear a Jimmy hat. That's one of the first things that, you know, that came out of his mouth when, you know, I was when I jumped out here in these streets. Um, and obviously now, you know, condoms must not be a thing because in my mind, if you don't want to have a family or if you don't want to create a family, then if you plan on having sex, then wear a condom. Like, at my loss, is there a condom shortage? That's a fact. I mean, if you're not trying to plan on having no family, or if you're not even ready to have no family, I mean, even if you're married, you probably should just go ahead and strap it up until whenever you're ready. But, however, if you're married, there's really no need for any condoms. So, for me, condoms are, is for people who necessarily have multiple partners. That's really what condoms are for. I mean, no married couple should really have any condoms in the house unless there are some type of underlying health conditions that you may have. Other than that, there really shouldn't be any in the household, like I said, unless there are some other factors involved. But let's see what the brother got. The pandemic? I mean, I just don't, I don't really understand, you know, getting, getting a vasectomy at all, um, at a young age, because the longer you have the, the vasectomy, the harder it is to reverse. Right. That's number one. And number two, I don't know why, you know, I guess everybody is just out here just raw dog in life. Is there, is there a memo or something that I missed? I mean, Probably. is it because, uh, you know, people don't have father figures or have fathers in their lives right now to tell them to wear condoms? I'm I am like. I am totally lost. I don't understand. Like, I mean, you can literally go to CVS and buy a condom or a pack of condoms for like four or five dollars versus the price of you catching an STI or an STD. Thanks. Like, you know, some of these things are incurable, right? Like, Thanks. I know some of these things that they, they treat with penicillin and penicillin is no longer working. Right. And we're not even talking about HIV and AIDS. We're talking about like some of the basic stuff that's out here on these streets. Kind of real. But, you know, I, I, I got morals, right? Like I told myself, you know, I, I, I just can't roll like that. And it's starting to come full circle in my head because I did hear some women. Um, I was sitting at the bar and they were conversating. And one girl was like, you know, after she meet a guy after the first month, like, like they, they, they aren't using condoms, right? So you got these men and you got these women and nobody. After the first month? You don't even know what that man smell like every day. After a month, that's not enough time. But I mean, hey, you, you, let's, let's. It's out here using condoms, um, and it's kind of weird because like the birth rate is down, but the STD, STI rate is up. Hi, so you know, I, hey, I'm lost. I guess maybe because I'm not out here on these streets, you know. I guess maybe because I'm married or like, you know, homeboy said I'm an OG now. I, I, there's something that I completely missed in society somewhere, some way, some fashion where people are out here not using condoms. And, you know, I'm going to tell my son and my daughter, you know, use condoms. Right. Because it's not. Just I'm about to tell you all how I know that they're not using condoms out here. I work in a pharmacy and the 
plan B pickup rate is quite high. Um, most likely, if you use the condom, you're probably not going to get plan B. Plan B is normally for when you did not use the condom. Okay, so it's plan B, right? So plan plan A would be condom. Plan B would be no condom. I mean, if you would, let's keep it 100. Okay. They out here doing what they want to do, how they want to do this YOLO. You only live once and you end up with something you got to live once with. Okay. So you're going to live the rest of your life with something that you can't get rid of. And I ain't talking about no babies. All right. Let's continue. Or getting pregnant or having kids or having a family, but it's also about, you know, catching something and i and i i kind of find it weird that uh it's already bad enough you know there's low testosterone floating around here but now you're you have this guy you know telling the little incels that they should get vasectomies which is like weird to me it's like why not put the first thing is wear a condom like it just doesn't make sense to me um right. and you know feel free to let me know because i'm i'm hella lost and you know if you're somebody young that's watching this um wear condoms don't get a vasectomy because you know a vasectomy in 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 it's, in most cases the longer you have it reversible. it can't be reversed right? right and we don't really know the true side effects of it but i know a lot of people when they get older like i think my father has a vasectomy um um but i'm 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 not at, at all educated on the pros uh, uh and the cons of getting a vasectomy i know you know it, it there are some people that get it and they still produce children right but one of the best ways to not is just to wear condoms. You know, I, I'm way out of touch with society if condoms are no longer a thing. And to me, that's weird. It's weird to me. And, you know, my like I was just saying, though, like the plan B pickup rate is high right now Um, with the Roe versus Wade and all of that partially uh, however, getting overturned. And some people may be afraid that they can't get abortions when they want to get abortions even though they out here doing it without anything any protection when i was growing up sex ed was a real thing like you went to class and they told you what to do what not to do and what is normally going on in the community and then you able to see and you know, make your decision based off of the information and the data that you receive from the instructor. Nowadays, I don't even know if they have those courses. I'm 33. So when I was in 2000 and well, not even 2000. Yeah, 2001, I was in seventh grade and I had sex ed. Like we was learning that. So, I mean, I don't know. This is wild out here. Some stuff. I, in the medical career, I just know about it because I'm living it every single day. So, if y'all want to see more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.